say, what? You picked this one? Okay. Okay, a little wrath, huh? I'm scared of you. <laughs> I'm just playing. I hope this first symbolic action will do you some good. And I am here to see you all the way through. I was thinking, should I try my rapping skills again? I mean, it does say wrap up my wrath. I should, I should wrap this action all the way through, right? <laughs> nah, <laughs> you probably won't come back and you're showing your sis. I get it. I get it. I ain't going to do you like that. But it's coming. My rap debut is close. I can feel it. I'm telling you, it's coming. <laughs> oh, I am silly. I am going to have an album kicking nothing but mental health. I'm telling you. Let me stop playing before you bring down a rap on me. Let's get it. <laughs> Okay, let's aim to control your wrath by controlling yourself in struggling situations. But how do we do that? Well, I know it is different for different people because of our individual makeup of life. So I know some things that I do and try to overcome when it comes to my anger that is turning into rage that I unleash on someone giving them all kinds of wrath is first to acknowledge the situation. I let myself experience the anger and do not try to start off with suppression, repression, expression, or escape. I guess it goes back to knowing thyself. Now don't get me wrong. Those actions will try to come up, and that's okay. It's okay. But I try my hardest not to let those things be first. I just try to be. And what I mean is not to have judgment on my anger, but to introduce myself to the cause of why it's boiling up in me. So we got to acknowledge it, y'all. We just, we just got to. It's simple, but so complicated. I hear you, because we just do we go in when we feel threatened personally attacked feared annoyed burnt out disappointed not understood disrespected now that's a big one that's a real big one the disrespect of it all right or i mean let me keep going betrayed frustrated injustice unheard differences of opinions tired or even hungry it activates the amygdala stimulating the hypothalamus it's wow but real Know thyself and put in place things to let go of the energy of anger. Now, managing anger is a process that takes time and practice. It's very crucial that you understand that you have to be patient with yourself. You're not going to execute it the first time, but who knows? Maybe you would. But for me, your sis from a different miss had some problems and still from time to time think to myself I could have handled that a little differently so I remember that I found an article speaking on punching pillows and how sometimes that gives relief and I tried that for a while but I felt afterwards significantly hindered and I remember telling one of my good friends that I needed a way to relieve some anger and stress and that's when she took me to the rage cage and this destruction service provider had me going Oh, I really enjoyed de-stressing and at the same time having fun. Who knew you could schedule an event to go into an anger or rage room? I mean, for real. That's where we at in 2023. <laughs> I felt uncomfortable beforehand and said, this is absolutely stupid. This is wasting my time and their materials. But I did it. And I must say, it is not a long-term solution to managing your anger, but it is a short, fun way to steer you into anger management. <laughs> now, when I know I am angry or upset about something, or I struggle with my emotions, I wrap up my wrath by releasing the anger in a fun, unique way. Now, this might not be for everyone, and I know advice is not one-size-fits-all. But I do respect the unique ways as humans that we have to decrease the rise of anger. Now, I don't know if this rage cage or it might be called something else, but I don't know if it's in every country or city. But there are videos of people experiencing it. And I think it's something you should check out. For real, you should. 
Now, the symbolic action is to try this. Book an appointment and see if it's a fit for you. And if one is not close to you, see if you can create your own kind of rage space, you know? <laughs> you know? I mean, you know how they used to say people used to hide, like, um, what they call it, their mad money around. So when they get mad, they can, you know, go out and do something for themselves. I say create a rage space, you know what I'm saying? But the main thing is to wrap up your wrath by acknowledging it and just sit in it before any action is taken and know thyself. Get a handle on you. No one, and I mean no one, can do that but you. You understand? In my juvenile voice. (laughs) Man, I am showing my age. I know I am, but it's cool. I'm good. I'm good with it. Wow. So I feel like I can give you some strategies like recognizing triggers and taking a step back and practicing self-awareness and using relaxation techniques and expressing yourself calmly and practicing empathy and perspective taking, seeking support. But I really wanted to focus on something that is unique and something that can become a part of any one of these techniques. And after this, you would definitely need to relax and enjoy the little milestones you have accomplished right so with that being the case let's try to maneuver and bring in our mental break what do you think let's move that in right now So I would like to take this opportunity to have us think of a time that you unleashed your wrath on someone. How did you handle it? Did you take a step back and think about what your body was going through? Because you know wrath is extreme anger. So did you feel extreme? Please put your opinions and thoughts and let me know your answers to these questions in the comments below. I truly, 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 truly appreciate it. They can generate stimulating dialogue. Let's take our breathing break. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Now, let's recap. Your symbolic action for today is to make sure you acknowledge your anger and the situation and sit with it before any action occurs. Basically, let yourself experience the anger and then surrender to it. By what? Do you know it? Letting go. Know thyself. Also, we spoke about finding a rage cage or anger room near you and trying it out, right? And if there's not one close to you, yeah, we already said it. Create your own rage space. (laughs) And then, what you need to do? Relax. And oh, lastly... If you like what I am doing and the way I am trying to help individuals overcome things, please subscribe by virtually becoming my friend. Please like the video, share it as well, and hit the like button and the notification bell to stay updated when I drop new valuable content that interests you. This is the last interactive path video to this option. Your sis from a different miss has your back. So until next time, detect, check, affect, and accept what is going on in your life conscientiously. Ciao.